The one last requirement that I typically see with InfoPath processes is the ability to have a copy of the form stored in SharePoint for reporting and view purposes. We created that read-only view. By default, K2 will not store a copy of the form in its SharePoint. Uh, the form data is submitted to K2. K2 will deliver forms and, and views to people when they receive tasks, but no specific data will be stored in SharePoint. To store a read-only copy in SharePoint, we just need to use the SharePoint document event to upload a copy of the form into SharePoint. So we'll upload a document from a K2 field We'll select the data field, and we just select the form that we want to upload. This is a completely optional step. This is not required uh, to have the process work correctly, but merely as a way to have a form show up in SharePoint uh, that you can uh, look at for reporting purposes. We'll select the document library, or a form library, and we'll use our uh, lead request form library. The file name can be something custom, but you want it to also be unique. And a good way to make something unique is to append the process instance ID to that. And then remember to add the .xml extension so that it knows it's a form. We won't set any metadata and click finish. The one other thing that we will need to do in order to make sure that the read-only view is the view that you see when you open up the form from SharePoint, we'll need to use a data event to set the document view before we do the upload. So the field that we want to set is the leave request form underscore k2 document view and we want to set that with the value of the view name in this our case is read only that will switch the view and allow us to upload the, the form and at this point the process is complete we can now save and deploy this process. Now that the process is deployed, let's go see what it looks like. See our leave request form library. And when we go to add a document to this library, our form will open up. We put in our name. the description, date time off, starting tomorrow, going through next week, go ahead and click submit to send the data to create the smart object and kick off the process instance. Here we can see that the task has now been assigned to us because we're logged in as the administrator and I've ensured that the administrator is the manager of the administrator in Active Directory. When we open up the task, the InfoPath form will load and we'll load up the lead request details from SQL. There we can see the details. We can take our action and submit. We'll also be able to see VFlow and see that the process has completed successfully. We'll also go back to the form library and see that the leave request was uploaded to SharePoint and that if we open that form, we see the read-only view with the data associated to it. That's a quick overview of an end-to-end -end InfoPath K2 process utilizing smart objects to store data. Thank you.